Okay, welcome to the Dublin Academy of Maths. Okay, so it's Dublin Academy of Maths online or DublinAcademyOnline.com is the whole address of you over here. And anyway, we're doing a question. This is Leaving Cert Ordinary Level Maths Series 9, Episode 3, Paper 2, The Circle and Sample A 2012. Okay, now we're getting close to finishing. Now, this will be the last video on this one. Okay, so they're all free to download on YouTube. You can look at them now, but I'm going to make them free to download. And then you, um, you know, if you like what you see or if you're following it, there should be enough there to get you through the exam. But if you want to uh, continue on, you can you can contact me through uh, the Dublin Academy at gmail.com. Anyway, uh, I'm doing this question on it's two sample A 2012 and it's part B. Okay, and it shows you these circles. They're not the best circles, but anyway, it says um, the equation of C. Uh, the diagram shows four circles of equal radius. The circles are touching as shown. Okay, they're supposed to be just touching. Write down the radius of C1. Right, so here's C1 and you just... Um, well, because... You, because and this is, this is represent R squared. So what's R, R is? R squared is equal to 9. Okay, so therefore R is equal to root 9, which is equal to plus or minus 3, but we're only dealing with positives, so it's plus 3. Okay, so you would say or oh, C1 is uh, the radius of C1 is uh, plus is 3. Okay, so that's really it. You know, you put it in the form and you change it around. We did it before. The next part says write down the coordinates of the center of C3. Now, center of C3. Okay, that's over there. Now, they all follow a format. Okay, now the format is that they, they, they're, they're translated. Okay, so it goes from from the center zero zero, I'm going to go to there, okay, and I'm going to follow the same translation. So I'm going to write down the, the find the coordinates of this. So I'm going to go from C1 to uh, C4, okay, and then I'm going to go from C2 to C3. Follow the same uh, same methods, C3 to C4, okay, and then I should be able to find out what C4 is now. C1, the points of C1, so I'm only interested in 0, 0, and then C4 I can deduce because I know the radius is 3 lengths. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and I know that that C4 is 6, 0, okay? Sorry, 0, 6. And so I'm going to follow that, and then I'm going to go to the other one. So you can see that I'm going from 0, 0, and it's going to uh, 0 for the X and 6 for the Y. Okay, now what happened to the x? Right, so you have to find out what, what the translation was. We did these translations before, they come up a lot. So the x went, didn't change. What happened to the y? The y went from 0 to 6, so it went up 6. Okay, so that's the translation. Okay, that is the translation. So you can do the same translation from C2, C2 to, C, uh, to C3. And we know that C2 is going to be, because this is uh, 0, 0, and this is going to be moving out, and this becomes 6, 0, okay? And we're moving that across, and the same, on the same uh, translation, X doesn't change, and uh, Y goes up 6. So it's 6, 6 is this point here. Now you can deduce it, you know, by, you know but this is the method that you follow, but you can deduce, and if you deduce it correctly and you write it down correctly, you, can, you know, you can get, you get some points for it, okay? But this is better off showing it this. So that's the coordinates of C3 is 6, 6. That's the question was, write down the equation of C3. Okay, now I have to find the equation of C3. First of all, I have to find the length of the diameter. I know that the length of the diameter is, uh, or the radius is equal to 3. Um, we got out the last day, which was equal to 3 the last time. So I, I put them into my formula. Um, x. So to write down the formula, x minus h, you should know this, squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. This is the hk. Do you understand that there? hk, right? hk is the center, new center, hk. So I leave that uh, so it becomes x minus 6 to be squared plus y minus 6 to be squared is equal to, well, the, ra the radius doesn't change for either. You know what I'm saying? Because they move the same distance, so it's equal to 3 squared is equal to r is equal to uh, 3 squared which is equal to 9 okay and you change that to 9 and that's the formula of that 
Um, any other question for to C? So that's the equation of C3. Okay, C3. Uh, write down the coordinates of the centre, C, C, uh, C3, which was 6, 6. Okay, and that's it. Now, um, well, that was fairly easy. Now, um, there's just a, there's just a, a couple of things that I just want to get out and, um, for slopes, maybe, you know. Uh, this part, the, the, the part of uh, the, next, the, the first part of this question had a few lines going up the slopes, and I just want to make sure that you know what slopes are about, okay? So this one is K. And um, one goes along like this, and you have to deduce a lot of things from these, okay? One goes along like this, this is um, L and J, and this is the same question, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis, and this is N, it doesn't give you any values, and this is N, okay, there's no more left, and we've got M, okay? M goes like that. Now it says um, the slopes. Okay, so we have to identify the slopes. So we're given slopes, and we're um, we're asked to which line is 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 is. So is, which line is re re corresponding? So anything with slope. Well, what has a slope two? Well, two is a very positive slope. Okay, and uh, I don't see anything greater than two. This is a lower slope than this, and 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 there was only because there were so many of them there. Uh, there was nothing greater than two. So I presumed. Are deduced that this line K is the slope of that line K, okay, and minus one. Now the next one, the next highest slope was M. Now M has a slope of uh, has a slope because it's gone slightly up, and it has a slope of an eight. Okay, so that's the slope of M. Now something that has a zero slope, well anything that goes parallel to the x-axis is, is not going up or down, okay, it's all relative to gradient, okay, so that's um, uh, L, because it's parallel to the x-axis. Uh, something that has a slope of minus a quarter, that means you're going from left to right to minus a quarter, now you've got minus one and minus a quarter, and we've got, we got this one, this one is, is, is a bigger angle than, than, than this fella here, okay, so this is, um, this is a greater, this is going to be n okay and the slider angle is going to be j because it's got a slight slope down this is, has a greater slope if you see it you will see that this line here is relatively uh, well is much more acute okay so there's the uh, that's part a of that question 2012 okay so that's all about slopes now i did cover slopes before in, in uh, series seven uh, with uh, the line, okay, and uh, let's have a look at these questions here. 2011, it's a sample paper question. The circle C has a center P minus 2 minus 1 and passes through the point Q31, okay, so show C, P, Q on a coordinated plane, so in other words, plot them out. Uh, find the radius of C, the circle C, and hence write down its equation, okay, so well, that to the center. One of those points is center. Or is the point 1, 6 by finding the slopes PQ, that's the slope PQ, the line PQ, and the line QR, show that QR is a tangent to C. Okay, show that it's a tangent to C. Now you've got a couple of choices here. It has this, it's the product of the slopes is equal to minus 1. If the product is equal to minus 1, it's got a, it's, it is a tangent. It cuts it at one point. Okay. Uh, and if you, if you just you can also do it through simultaneous equations you can find its equation and then see if you could if how many points of intersection it has and if it has only got one point it's got a slope it's it's a tangent okay thank you now remember that question questions do all these questions and if you want to get back to me at some uh, Dublin Academy online so Dublin Academy online.com Okay, that's, that's all the W's, W cubed, Dublin Academy Online dot com. Right. Gmail is Dublin Academy at Gmail dot com. Now that's my personal one. Did it to the to the academy. Right, so that's great. So do those questions and then see you again sometime.